kitchen and I'm home away from home. So um, it's the Christmas season and today I'm going to be doing curry goat. And this is about eight pounds of curry. I'm sorry, eight pounds of mutton. So I'm gonna be doing um, seasoning with my dry ingredients. And in this um, recipe, I'm gonna be using curry powder, which is all island spice, curry powder, black river. I'm gonna be using turmeric. I'm gonna be using Mrs. Dash, um, ground black pepper, ginger powder, I'm also going to be using bay leaves. I'm going to be using lemon pepper, garlic powder, and a little soy sauce. And I also have pimento seeds. Okay? So, I'm going to put all my dry ingredients in. I'm going to mix it first. And then put all my dry ingredients in here and this is not a recipe as always because we cook a little different Jamaican cook a little different we season to taste but I, I will put in the description box the amount of dry ingredients that I am using so as we cook we taste so um, if it need more seasoning, if the meat need more seasoning, we will always add. So I will add if I need to. And I am not putting any salt because I have all these dry ingredients which already has salt, okay? I think this is mixed nice enough and I'm gonna sprinkle all over and then I'm gonna work it in. Okay, before I start working in, working in the dry ingredients, I'm gonna show you my herbs, okay? So there I have thyme, I have um, three bulbs of garlic, I have three hot peppers, and I'm not going to cut them because not everyone likes to have the, the taste of hot pepper, okay? Not everyone can take it. And here I have ginger, I have also purple onions and it's one purple onion and I think I have three white onions right here okay and over here I have three stalks of scallion and there's a few um, sprig or few limbs of rosemary okay so also I'm gonna put some butter in okay so I will put it here and again there's no special amount we are seasoning to taste okay this right here for now okay so I'm gonna work this in Just in case I didn't tell you, I already cleaned my meat with vinegar and lemon juice. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so the dry ingredients is already rubbed in. So now I'm gonna put the herbs in along with my butter. Now I'm gonna work everything in. Make sure every piece gets some seasoning in. Reach for the bottom, take the bottom to the top. Okay. to transfer this seasoned meat into this pot here. Okay, so I'm finished transferring everything and I'm going to cover this pot in a moment. Let me just take my gloves off. Okay. I'm gonna cover with plastic wrap first. Okay, so I'm going to sit this in my fridge to marinate overnight. And so I will see you tomorrow when I'm ready to finish cooking. Hey okay guys, so my mutton is ready to start cooking. And I'm going to cook it into a pressure cooker, but I am not going to pressure it. I'm going to let it cook on its own, okay? So in here, I have about a half a cup of cooking oil corn oil that's the one I have right now okay
you guys as you can see everything is cooking nicely and my pot is tall but it's not wide okay so I had to put just a little tip of water to loosen it up okay because it was a little hard for it to start springing its own water like I said the pot is not but right now it's cooking nicely it's beautiful okay this is going for 45 minutes now and you can see that it's really boiling or cooking okay so I am going to like check it at an hour now 15 minutes I'm gonna see how it is okay okay so this is going for an hour now and I just tasted it but it's not completely cooked so I am gonna give it another half an hour and then I'll take it from there okay guys my meat has been cooking like for two hours now okay and it is done so now what I'm going to do the remainder of my seasoning I am going to um, just put in here and let it simmer down for another 10 minutes or so okay guys here is my mutton it is finished cooking I took out all of the seasonings like the um, scallion the pepper and the thyme I took them all out so here I took out a few pieces and it is video when I upload a new video. Bye for now. See you in my next video.